What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back with the boxing clinic. Y'all know what it is. Shout out to the LDBC, YTBC. We working. Um, shout out to Jay Calderon. Follow him on YouTube. It's my man's. Uh, always good. Good material when he dropped. But we talking about Terrence Crawford. Um, most of y'all think that he's just going to, you know, rise to supremacy so easily at 147 pounds welterweight. You know, um, it's not going to be an easy process. It's doable, but it's, it's very strenuous process. You know, it's double, um, double the work, you know, and, you know, 1.5 of that double is majority making business, uh, business decisions and biz and, and working with Al Heyman and PBC to make some of those dream fights happen or Terrence Crawford to just be a guy fighting mandatories and fighting whoever top break and get options with. You know, like he was before. Or fighting in-house top rank fighters, which is not a lot of in-house top rank fighters at welterweight. But Jesse Vargas going over to Al Heyman and PBC. And Timothy Bradley retiring. And they got Constantine Pulmov, who's fighting Carlos Uncampo sometime soon to be the mandatory to Earl Spence. So, um, one way or the other, top rank going to have to work with um, PBC Al Heyman. And uh, that's if Constantine Pulmov beats Carlos Uncampo. Um, pull mob is ranked highly in the WBC as well. He's like five or four in the WBC. Um, so he may very well have a pick between Keith Thurman and Earl Spence when he wants it. Um, but he can be the number one mandatory to Earl Spence. He already turned that fight down for the number one contender status before Earl Spence got the belt versus Kale Brook. But, uh, you know, um, it will be seeing, you know, really it's no way for, you know, Terrence Crawford to go. At 147 pounds in top ranks and house system, um, they're gonna very well have to let him go on Showtime, CBS, Fox. Even at the Bob Brown was on record saying that none of his fighters gonna go over to Showtime because they do less than a million views. And every fight he's done so far on ESPN, which you know you should do, you know a million views in your sleep, has done it has fell short of a million views except for Pacquiao and uh, Jeff Horn. So. um you know, ain't that karma sticking his foot right in his mouth? Well, Terrence Crawford um, is going to have to, you know, um, tell Bob Arum and his manager, Cameron Duncan, who works with the majority of top-ranked fighters, set the Al Heyman for top rank, um, to make the fights happen with, with Al Heyman and PBC. You know, they want to jump the line and fight Keith Thurman, which will not happen. It just makes no businesses. Why would Al Heyman let Terrence Crawford get a shot at Keith Thurman before Earl Spence does? And then they run off with uh, the belts, possibly. And then, you know, you got a Earl Spence got to bow down to Terrence Crawford demands, make pennies and all that. It's stupid. Will not happen. You know, if anything, Terrence Crawford will get a crack at Earl Spence at, if he can get the belt from Jeff Horn, which uh, let's segue into that real quick, which will be I think it's the perfect introduction to 147 for him because we know Jeff Horn has an iron chin. He's one of the more stronger and physically uh, imposing welterweights. He's a big guy. Um, you know, he had his throat crush before. He overcame that, overcame some big shots from Pacquiao, showed a lot of grit and heart. And if Terrence Crawford is able to get Jeff Horn out of there and do something that Randall Bailey couldn't do, do something Pacquiao couldn't do even at an older age, I think it's still an impressive feat because Randall Bailey is, you know, this generation's pound for pound, one of the hardest hitters the welterweight division has seen. You know, he might not be the most successful, but he was one of the most hardest hitters guys out there. And um, it'd be to me, if Crawford can stop Jeff Horn, I think it'd be impressive, especially if he could stop him in Australia. But I think that fight is going to be pushed to the U.S. But like I was saying about Earl Spence, um, I think Earl Spence, T Terrence Crawford had him before, um, you know, Terrence and Keith Thurman. He had to get through Earl Spence, which wouldn't be an easy fight. In my opinion, Earl Spence is very physically strong. Um, Kale Brooks showed that he can, you know, you can outbox him for some time, but everything Earl Spence do is calculated. You know, um, he made the adjustments. He was putting in the body work. He stepped up the pace, and Kale Brook couldn't handle the body and the pace of, you know, the fight. And Kale Brook is one of the more physically imposing welterweights. Um, you know, people say, oh, he came down, he was down. At the end of the day, you guys was, woo, woo, woo. He was, he boxing up Earl Smith, but you didn't see what Earl Smith was doing. Earl Smith was setting him up for the knockout. You know what I'm saying? And the whole time, you know, I'm not saying that he was giving away rounds, but it was calculated. He ended up adjusting, getting the right range, and Kell Brook couldn't hold him like he held Sean Porter because because he was at the, Earl Smith was at the good, a great distance. He was able to shoot shots underneath and break down Kell Brook from the body on down. And with you moving up to 147, 
that's one of those body parts that that really you can you can really test is that body because Earl Spence is one of the best guys at cutting off the ring. A lot of guys follow Crawford. Crawford hasn't fought a guy that can cut the ring off like Earl Spence and can beat the body down like Earl Spence and go to the head. Now, if you're talking about Keith Thurman, uh, he had problems with switch hitters like Linda Bundu, and he was afraid of the Bundus, you know, getting hit by Bundu. Crawford is a better puncher than Bundu. I'm going to go ahead and say that at 147, even though he hasn't fought there yet. And he switched hits, and I think he's he's more physically longer and gifted and faster than Bundu. And um, if Keith Thurman don't get back to the old one time with that aggressive nature, um, it's not like he got those belts that, and he's trying to protect himself and protect those belts instead of being the go getter. And if Keith Thurman don't turn back into the aggressive Keith Thurman, uh, Terrence Crawford and Earl Smith will run through him like diarrhea. But it won't be easy for Terrence.